uh, that we will need for uh, a game. Last time, we had some games that I felt like were probably not challenging enough of a game. Um, and so this year we're going to have some games that will actually be more challenging and more team competitive. You divide, we're going to have larger classes, so you have to divide your larger classes into like two teams, and this team is going to compete with this team. All right, and then that way, um, and I have some games that were not chosen last year, but may need to be chosen this year since some of our games didn't work out according to our survey. Where you have to, they're all sitting in a in a row, or they're standing in a row, and then you have a goal at the front, but they have to pass something along that line, and then that next person takes it across the goal line, then comes back to the last, and then they pass again. That causes a lot of competition plus a lot of action, mm -hmm. moving, and it'll take you five minutes to explain the game, show the game, and give them a pra time to practice. And then you'll have how much time left then to play the game? 20, 20 minutes. So, um, but actually you want to play it about 20, I mean about 17. You want to give three minutes for them to settle down, sit down, get back into their positions for class. So we're looking at about 17 minutes per game, okay? So that should give you enough time to be able to play these games well and maybe play them a couple times if they'd like to. And they're a little bit more um, uh, structured games, rather than just a free-for-all. Everybody just kind of take this ball and do whatever. So I think that that'll be good. Um, some of you may have to go to the top and play your game at the top of the building uh, because of maybe your class is going to be really, really large. So you're going to have to go up at the top. If your class is like 25 instead of 20, you may, you may have to consider going to the top. Um, I know it's very hot up there, and that would be the detriment. The only other thing I could suggest would be for Christine to do what in those classrooms? What did, what did we have a problem with last year in those classrooms that confined us more? Do you remember what was in there? Some of them had pews in there. Yeah, had pews in those classrooms. So I'm going to ask her if she can put those pews maybe farther away, not group them together, but put them along the walls so that we're having more empty space. If we need to play a game in our room, we have room then to play that game without having that. We're going to have a lot larger classes, so we need extra room. So that is something I'm going to suggest that she do before we get there is to if she has to leave them in there, I understand that's important, but to push them aside, okay? Um, she has still in her possession scissors, glue, construction paper, and the soft rubber balls. Those were, I think, the small ones, weren't they? And then she says she has... All right, I'm going to make sure that the balls are bigger this year. Okay, so that the little ones, they bounce too high and too far, and you said they were too chaotic. Um, well, I think that Sam handled it pretty well, but I think it might have been difficult for them to like, run out of the balls every time. Uh -huh. but were, yeah. yeah. <coughs> but we had a lot more trouble teaching anything. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm going to get the larger balls for her, for, her, for us to have. She has, she's going to buy four boom boxes for CDs and cassettes. So th we can use that in our, uh, for our music, in our um, assemblies, as well as we can use it in our classrooms if we need to, um, for anything that you would like to, to teach. I don't have any lessons that require a CD or a cassette because I would have to purchase those lessons. And I'm just making these lessons up on my own using other ideas that I've used over the years. So I don't really have a cassette. And for me to copy a cassette would be incorrect for copyright laws. So um, the only thing I can think of that we can use them would be in the classroom. I mean, in the assemblies. So then she would need four, right? Uh, I wouldn't think so, but um, she might have some other reasons for using them, I don't know. 
Uh, and then she has one world map. Now remember, we need to decorate our rooms. Mm -hmm. So, who had a world map in their room last year? You had a world map. We had United States maps and world maps. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if there was a world. It might have been United States. United States. Okay. What did you? You had in your same room. Sam, did you didn't have any? Andrew had it. I think. Andrew had or one. I think I had them too. Sorry. Yeah, I think you did too, up on the wall. Because mm -hmm. I bought about four or five of those last year to take with us. And I think I have one or two that I brought back. Mm -hmm. So um, I will purchase those again from the store because we need to have some kind of decoration up on the wall. And be thinking about what excuse me, what decorations you would like to have up on the wall. And if you can bring any of those, that would be fine. If you have some ideas or you see something in a store that would be a good decoration. Anything that's colorful and attractive would be a decoration, okay? Could be some part of the United States. Because she is naming this, you know, 2006 Joyful American Camp. So any poster of any part of America, a poster of a surfer on the, on the coast of California, <laughs> Sports teams, uh, American sports teams, anything like that would be fun. Um, so you can bring any of those that you might have. Um, she wants us to sing Christian uh, uh, songs in both assemblies uh, because she wants us to um, saturate the children with godly songs. So we, there may be an opportunity where we'll use a secular song that's a one or two in an assembly, but basically she wants us to use Christian songs in assemblies. All right, let's talk about the assemblies and make some decisions on the assemblies. Um, what would you like to, we'll have to decide who would like to do what in the assemblies. All right, so let's make a chart regarding that. Let's erase this section here and this section here and put up our assemblies. For our assemblies, we will have uh, leading songs. So I'm just going to put songs up here. Leading songs, and that means that you're going to stand before the children and you're going to... That doesn't mean you're going to have a solo, but it means that you're going to get them started on the song. We'll have the screen again at the front of the church, and on the screen will be the words to the songs. And uh, we'll have some music, depending on, I think you have a guitar, and then, and then she wants to use some boom boxes, we can do that. So songs, any kind of music, like piano, or controlling the boom boxes, or doing the guitar, that will be a, 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 another section. We have one for testimony. This pen is not doing very well. And then we have one for the, this one doesn't write at all. No, okay. And one for the message. Okay, you can read that all right? Okay. So now we need to decide what is it that you would like to do. Oh, and skits. We have skits also. So let's, um, I don't want to erase this yet because I have not yet um, copied that but we'll put skits over here. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to copy this on this side. Um, Would it be easier to put skit on the other side? Well, I'm going to 